Today we're going to talk about the Aerobica. This is an oscillatory positive expiratory pressure device or OPEP device and it can help to clear secretions. So it can be used as an adjunct to your active cycle of breathing technique, which you can find on another video. So it can be, it will be prescribed by a specialist respiratory physiotherapist. It shouldn't really be prescribed by anyone else because you need to be taught how to use it, but hopefully this video will help consolidate that learning. So basically what it is, is a little tube, a little mouthpiece attached here, and then you can take the bottom off and it's just got this funny little thing inside, which has got this flap here. So when you inhale or exhale through it, this moves, this oscillates and it creates different pressures. And you can actually adjust those pressures here. And the purpose of it is when you blow out through it, instead of doing your huff, then it can actually oscillate to certain frequencies to actually unstick and mobilize the secretions a bit more. So if you've got quite thick, sticky secretions, or when you do your huff and you're quite wheezy and you get a lot of airway collapse, then this might be really useful. They're about sort of between 50 and 100 pounds each, so they're not cheap. So it's definitely better to try and optimize your active cycle of breathing technique first, because if your technique's not right, you're not gonna really unstick anything anyway. And there's other things on the market, there's other techniques that your physiotherapist might prefer to go through with you. But this purpose of this video is to go through the aerobica. I'm just gonna pop it all back together. So it's quite easy to use and you can just um, wash that with warm soapy water after every use and leave it to air dry on a towel on the side and then use it again once it's dry. So you should ideally be sitting down when you're doing this so that if you get a little bit dizzy, if you're blowing a bit hard, then you're not going to pass out and hurt yourself. Um, the technique is pretty simple. So you're going to do your active cycle of breathing technique. So you're going to start with um, breathing control. So nice and relaxed breathing. And then you're going to move on to your three or four deep breathing exercises to really open up the airways, really try and unstick anything. And remembering that before you do any of this, you need to make sure that you are hydrated and bronchodilated. So you've had your appropriate inhaled therapies and you've had plenty of water so that your secretions are as thin as possible. And if you're on any other medications for those secretions that you take them. And then when you're going to do your huff, you're going to exhale through the aerobica. So you can vary that sort of that exhalation. So you can do a breath, small breath in and a long blowout or a large breath in and a short, hard blowout. And you can adjust that dial. So I normally start sort of somewhere in the middle to just see how the patient manages. But really, the, the there's no right or wrong there for you. It's whatever helps to really move the secretions off your chest. So see how that works for you. And it's the way that works with the least amount of effort, so you're not having to work really hard. And remember that you should be minimizing the amount of coughing that you're doing. So when you do cough, you're bringing up as much phlegm as possible. So I'm going to demonstrate a few techniques and see if that works. I'm going to start with breathing control. On to deep breath. Back to breathing control. And I'm going to try a nice long huff. And you can do as many as you feel able to. Depends what breath you've got and how tired you feel. Just come back to that breathing control and then adjust how hard and how long you blow for and, and the um, resistance that you find 
to move your secretions and that's going to be very specific to you. So if I was teaching this face to face one to one, I would be constantly giving feedback on that, which obviously I can't do now. So it's just going through the general principles. Make sure you give it a wash out afterwards um, and it's all clean and then pop it away. Um, another useful thing about this is you can actually attach a nebulizer onto it. So if you have a lot of um, physiotherapy to do in the day and there's just no time for anything else, at least you can combine having your nebulizer with doing your chest clearance at the same time. Um, so it just reduces the amount of time spent doing your chest clearance and you actually have the day to do whatever you want to do, which is really important for your quality of life.